Hi, I'm Karen Rice and welcome to my watercolour YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make homemade Christmas cards and homemade present Christmas tags. And I'd just like to say a big thank you to Karen from my Patreon membership for inspiring this tutorial with her own homemade amazing Christmas cards. Let's get started. So this is an old painting that didn't go quite right. So I'm using this to cut up triangles of different sizes for my Christmas tree Christmas cards. So I'm just using a scissors to cut out these different shapes, not even using a pencil to outline it, just nice free sort of cutting here. So don't worry if they're not absolutely perfect. It kind of adds to the sort of craft and homemade feel for these Christmas card and gift tags. So here are lots of different triangles I've cut up from lots of different paintings that didn't go quite right. And it's a great way of recycling old paintings. I'm just using some white card that I've cut up into small rectangles and here is one of my little triangle paintings and I'm using a hole puncher to punch the top of the card as you can see here and I've decided to go smaller here with my triangle sort of painting you can see there's some lovely salt textured effects there as well which looks quite nice and I'm using washable PVA glue here to attach the watercolour painting to the card. And I'm using an old synthetic brush to apply the glue. So as you can see here, I'm just applying it to the back of the triangle painting, off cut painting here, just covering all these sort of edges especially so that it doesn't sort of lift off at the edges. And I'm sort of sticking it down on the little gift tag now, centrally, just making sure I sort of press down. I'm gonna use some paper towel just to really press hard and press the triangle down onto the card ready to decorate. So here are lots of small rectangle cards that I've cut up and I've actually punched holes in the top part there. And here are all my little triangles ready to be glued on to the card. So again, gluing the back of the little triangle painting here using the synthetic brush and sticking it to the card centrally, but also leaving a space for the hole at the top there and really pressing down the triangle there, especially around the edge and this is ready to be decorated. So I bought some gold and silver stars, all different shapes and sizes. And I'm just taking off this small star to put at the top of the tree. It's really simple, you just stick it at the top. Now, if you don't have gold and silver stars, you could actually paint on gold paint or gold inks which I'll be using a little bit later. So something so simple with the watercolour, with the salt effect, with the gold star looks so effective. So I'm using gold acrylic ink, but you could even use gold gel pens. And I'm just applying some little dots using a small little synthetic brush here. I'll also be showing you how to apply some glitter as well, but you don't even need to do any of those. You could just keep the salt effect background with the watercolour. I'm also using gold calligraphy ink here as well. I had an old bottle from years ago so I'm just applying that now. Just small dots onto the watercolour paper. So another little green triangle here, part of the same painting that I cut up. So I'm just applying the gold sticker, the star sticker and a few more little dots onto this one as well using the gold acrylic ink and just sort of small little marks just adds that little bit of sparkle. So I'm gonna use one of the silver stars now onto a pale sort of gray background. And I'm gluing on top of the painting here very gently, because remember watercolor isn't permanent. So this is just that washable PVA glue using the synthetic brush. So just covering that entire triangle. And I'm using some silver chunky glitter and I'm gonna sprinkle it onto the sticky surface here. And don't worry about it falling onto the card because I'm just gonna tap that off so it just sticks onto the triangle. And it just looks so Christmassy and effective. So I'm gonna use this on another sort of gray blue background here. This time I'm using a sort of teal color and it's a finer glitter. And I'm actually using a dry brush. So the brush is not wet in any way to actually apply this fine glitter onto the sticky glued surface here. So it will stick and it's 
it's just got a finer sparkle and I'm just tapping the side of the tag there to remove any excess glitter on the card. And again, it looks so effective. I'm really pleased with this one. So here are all the tags that I have made and I must say I found it really therapeutic. One piece of advice that I feel I've learned is less is more. They just got too busy and too messy looking. So just keep it really simple. And the last thing to do is just to thread some ribbon through the little hole there and just knot it so that it's secure and just keep it open at the top so you can attach it to your present. And I must say they look so effective and it's such a personal thing to do to apply this to a present. So I really hope you're inspired to create your own Christmas gift tags using old discarded watercolour paintings. For the second part of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made my own homemade Christmas watercolour cards using old discarded watercolour paintings and I'm going to show you how I decorated them. So I'm going to make some of my own blank cards but I'm also going to use cards that I bought ready made which are here. So the centre is already scored so I'm just folding that in half and I did purchase these online and you can get different shapes, different sizes and they come with their own envelopes. So the white card that I have here is an A4 card and I'm just folding it in half. It hasn't been scored so just try to line up the edges there carefully if you're sort of using sort of um, A4 card and then, and then press in the center there with your fingertips so you get a nice sort of crisp fold there ready for decoration. So here are my cards, different shapes, different sizes and here I'm going to use two triangles here and it looks so effective already. So I'm gluing the back of them using that synthetic brush. Make sure you put plenty of glue on the edges especially. So I'm gluing the first one here using my fingertips to press down the edges, making sure it's fully attached to the card and then the next triangle overlapping slightly. And that's gonna be ready for decoration, just using a paper towel to press down those two triangles and allow the glue to dry before decoration. And just keep an eye on your cards when they're drying, just make sure those corners don't lift and just press them down firmly with your fingertips. So here is another triangle, it's got a salt effect, etc. So I really love the colors here. It was actually some caladium leaves that I had actually practiced before I actually did my caladium leaves tutorial. So it's a little off cut of that. So I've glued the back and I'm sticking this down sort of pretty much in the center of the card there. Again, ensuring that those corners are pressed down firmly and using the paper towel to press down as well. And this can actually lift off any excess glue around the edges. So I'm using these gold and silver stickers here with Christmas greetings. So just peel off carefully and stick them to your car. They're a little bit fiddly. I got better as I went along and they do suggest using a tweezers. Now you can write your own sentiments either with a gel pen, a gold or silver gel pen, or even paint it on with gold or silver paint or ink. But my writing isn't the best so I prefer these written stickers. So I'm just using the gold acrylic ink here and a small brush and I'm just sort of painting on some decoration on the tree here wet on dry. It's nothing fancy it's just a few swirly lines but it just looks so effective and I've remembered my little lesson less is more really keep the cards simple they look quite beautiful when they're just decorated simply not too much adornments as it were. So on my homemade A5 card, I've got three different size blue, grey, sort of off cupped triangle watercolour paintings. I'm just applying different sizes of these Silver Star stickers. And now I'm gluing the front of the painting here. And remember, watercolour isn't permanent, so just apply this very gently so it doesn't disturb the watercolour underneath. And I'm using the silver fine glitter with the dry brush and I'm just tapping on the glitter onto the wet glue so it sticks. 
and I'm just doing that here and there. It just gives it a shimmer. Now you don't need to do this. You could keep it really simple and just have the painting itself. It's got some beautiful salt effects and even some red spattering of paint. And they do look quite beautiful and quite sort of modern and abstract looking, but I couldn't resist a little bit of sparkle. I'm using the chunky glitter as well and just applying that to the three triangles and I'm tapping to remove any excess glitter and I'm going to allow that to dry naturally. So for my square Christmas card I've got a very sort of modern large triangle so I'm just getting a Christmas greeting here in gold and sticking it on to the surface here. I'm also going to apply a gold star just to finish this little painting and it just looks really effective. So for my next card I'm just going to apply some more Christmas greetings here just below the tree that triangle shape there it looks really effective but you can see how delicate these stickers are so I think I've managed to get that straight and I'm just applying a little gold sticker at the top to finish this little Christmas card so here are all my completed cards, the A5, the square and the smaller sort of cream coloured ones on the right. I really enjoyed painting these. It was so relaxing and therapeutic. And what was great is just using these old watercolour paintings that I discarded and just sort of cutting them up to create these amazing effects. And, you know, just keeping it simple like this one here, you don't need too much to make it look quite beautiful really and I love this brush -o Christmas card it was an off-cut brush -o that I played around with just experimenting and it's made the most amazing card just with the star and the Christmas greeting below so I really hope you're inspired to make your own homemade Christmas cards and just adding a little bit of sparkle here and there as well but you as you can see keeping them simple works really well as well and don't forget, you can make your own homemade Christmas present tags as well. And you may want to start with these. They're a good practice before you actually create your own homemade cards. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you are inspired to make your own homemade Christmas cards. If you'd like to support the content that I create here on YouTube, why not think about joining my Patreon membership? You will get access to my weekly exclusive tutorials, line drawings, and extended YouTube tutorials without any ads. Details about the membership can be found in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Happy Christmas card making. Bye for now.